welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film a swatch party video. I feel like I haven't done these in forever and honestly you guys have probably already seen a jillion videos, reviews on these palettes but that's okay. I'm gonna do it anyway because I love swatch parties and I just got these Wednesday and I was really excited so let's go ahead and get to swatching. This is the first one I'm going to swatch and this is called the bronze what is this called? Ah, I just dug my nail into this. The Bronze Temptations palette. And it's actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today. I did film how I did this look. It was honestly like super easy. So I think that video is going to be like five seconds long. But I hope you guys enjoy seeing that. But let's stop blabbering and start swatching. I don't like how she does the little plastic inserts. Kind of pin the butt. But... But, 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 I will try my best to keep you guys posted on the names. So far, I really like this palette, you guys. I just totally swatched this wrong. So, I swatched the last row um, first. So, let me just, let me just go this way. It's fine, right? You guys get it. This is that shade that everyone's, like, drooling over. It's like that uh, duochrome. So, the shades I have are... Um, Dark Paradise, Corruption, and Provocatrix, and they're gorgeous. The pigmentation of these shadows, you guys, is insane. Let me see if I can show you guys. Do you see the duochrome on that? I don't know. It's, oh my gosh. I didn't like her original small palettes that she came out with, those first three. I only bought one of them. But this collection, I just couldn't say no. I don't know what it was. Okay, and then these are the last three shades. Or the first three shades, sorry, because I fucked this up. So we have Celestial, Burning Desire, and Supernova. So this is Bronze Temptation. Gorgeous. I did see a lot of people do comparisons. And I do have all of her palettes. So I'm just grabbing them right now because I think there's a green shade in one of her bigger palettes that everyone was like wondering if these were similar. But the green shade in here is a special shade and it has like a purple flip to it. So it isn't, I don't think it's similar at all, but let me just, since we're here, I can tell the difference like right away just looking at them, but I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but they're... Are the two greens swatch together and this is mothership which one is this i don't know which one this is anyway the green the green shade in here is not similar to the one in the palette so those are the swatches from this guy which is bronze temptation so next let's do the blue this is called dark star mothership subliminal this one I've actually used twice already and oh my gosh you guys, I just, I just don't know if I can explain how beautiful these shades are. So let me go ahead and swatch. I wish there's a different matte, in, like I wish it wasn't just the gray, but oh well. Let's swatch on the inside here. Okay, here we go. So the three shades are, let's see, we have Entice, Deep Space, and Enraptured. Super beautiful. I wore that gold shade on my lid yesterday and I didn't even have to like foil it. I didn't have to wet it. It was just like beautiful pigmentation. So there they are. And then let me do the last three. As black, everyone is commenting on how pigmented it is. And I honestly love this blue so much. I honestly think this color combination is like nothing I've ever owned really. You know, so it really like forces me to be outside of the box. So we have Dark Matter, Metropolis, and Interstellar. And I know everyone loves Interstellar. <laughs> so there it is. There they are on my finger. My finger is gonna be so stained. <laughs> And then that is this palette, just so you guys know. And then we're going to swatch the pink one. 
and this is called met meta <laughs> this one's called mental moth <laughs> This one is called Metamorphosis, 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 Metamorphosis. God, that was a lot. Okay, so this one, everyone said, has all shimmers, which is, you know, a little terrifying for a palette, but I actually have this one. This is Mothership 4, which was limited edition and launched holiday last year, I believe. This is the one Melissa Gold is panning, if you guys didn't know. Me, Melissa, Kat, and a few other YouTubers were doing a project pan, a year-long project pan, and we're each panning our favorite Pat McGrath palette. We've actually had so many people join up with us since. We have three more that have sent us Instagram messages, and we actually have an Instagram group, and we're always talking about Pat McGrath on there. So if you guys, if you're finding this video and you want to join our project pan collab, please DM one of us on Instagram and we'd be so happy to include you guys. So let me know about that. Sorry, I got on a little tangent, but this is the only one so far that I have not used. I have not swatched. I have not touched. And the two shades in here, these first two are repeats. So they are from the original Mothership 4 and then they repeated them in this particular palette, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain. I don't really wear silver <laughs> that much on my eyes, but yeah, I don't mind. These are swatching incredibly beautifully. This orange, I'm so excited for. I don't have anything like that. We have metal, metal, metal agree, copper, and sterling. Sterling's a really cool name. Oh my gosh, I wish I thought of that because we just got a gray cat. If you guys hadn't seen him, he's super cute. He's on my Instagram often. And we we're trying to think of names to name him that weren't. I really wanted to name him Stormy because he's like this perfect. He looks like a Russian blue, but we're convinced he's a mix because he doesn't have a blue eyes. But he's like this perfect shade of cloudy, stormy gray. And I wanted to name him Stormy. And my husband's like, absolutely not. We're not naming our cat after the president's lover, stripper. I don't know what she is, what she does. But anyway, that was a bummer because I really think he looked like a Stormy. Okay, this purple shade is incredible. It's like a purple black with like tons of purple flecks in it. Holy shit, it's beautiful. I hope I can pull that off because I tend to scare when it comes to smoky shades, but we've got smoked amethyst, bronze, and gold standard. So those are the swatches of this palette. Super pretty. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the swatching. I don't know. I, I don't want to do comparisons. There's so many comparisons out there already. I'm sure you guys already know none of them are really that close. I mean, they are close, but I I will never tell you not to buy a Pat McGrath palette. They're amazing. So these three, I'm super pumped. I picked up. I was able to take advantage of that bundle deal. So I got all three together and then she had a 10% off. So these were under 100 and. 30 for sure. I think I paid like 112 for these. I was super tempted to get the two-day shipping, but I didn't because I didn't want to, you know, I was just like, Karen, you can wait. Like, you're fine. You don't need to review everything the day it comes out. So I did wait and yeah, so far I really like them. I really hope I can get more use out of them. I would love to do more looks with my Pat McGrath palette. So let me know what your thoughts are on all of that down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.